I are fat men <laughs> allowed to date beautiful women, but fat women are not allowed to date hot men. And let's freaking talk about it because this is so real. I think everybody knows the reason why there are higher beauty standards for women than there are for men. Most men don't even have really that many standards when it comes to the physical uh, dimensions of their body. Most dudes are perfectly content walking around with sweatpants from like five or six years ago, not even wearing deodorant. As you guys know, I know several dudes in my life that have made sticks of deodorants last potentially years of their life that think it's homosexual to even wash their buttholes. And don't get me wrong, there are plenty of dudes, especially in the last 10 years, that have upped their game. The beauty standard for dudes has definitely increased over the past 10 to 15 years, but it's nowhere close to the beauty standards for women. And if you watch any type of media nowadays, or even back in the day, you'll see that women are almost always hypersexualized. Women are almost always the beauty standard when it comes to the attraction, right? We know that. So that is the main reason, okay? It's just different. Usually women are looking for more secondary characteristics compared to uh, men looking for more physical characteristics. Like women are willing to excuse, uh, you know, maybe if a guy smells bad or maybe he doesn't brush his teeth, uh, but he's got other things going for him, right? Like he doesn't dress the best, but he's funny and he's charismatic and he has other things. He's super, like, super amazing conversation. That stuff's like really, really important for a lot more women compared to men just kind of go, you know, hey, as long as she's hot. Like I've met so many dudes that are perfectly willing to accept a woman that is, you know, gonna microwave their ham microwave their hamster, key their car, but she's pretty. Like she could be the most <laughs> toxic individual on the planet, but she's super hot, so therefore it's excusable, which is terrible, by the way. If you're a dude and you're excusing that type of bad behavior, don't do that. That's terrible. <laughs> do not let that happen to you. Um, but there's a reason. Like women usually have more beauty cues than men. Like men are really just shaped like triangles. Sorry rectangles where women have more dimensions more curves and they have more dimension to them men don't really have that like when you think of like what's really attractive on men what like shoulders and penis i guess like when women you go what are you what are you looking at hips you know butt cheeks front butt uh you're thinking about the face there's so many things but for for men it's just not the same so usually men have to focus on other stuff and that's really the reason but like i said Men have gotten hotter over the last few years. The beauty standard has increased for men because now we have to use like face care and, you know, actually wearing deodorant and washing our feet. So we have to do things too nowadays. So it's not as just cut and dry as like, you know, uh, uh, men have gotten better looking. Nah, men, men have upped their game too. I'm not allowed to date hot men. Let's freaking talk about it because this is so real. As a young fat girl, um, I was very excited at the movie Hairspray because I was like, oh my God, like... Zac Efron loves her even though she's fat. Like, that's like... Which, uh, look, it's fine if you're a fat girl and you think you can get a guy like Zac Efron to fall in love with you. I'm sure it could happen. But I always want to know, like, is there nothing more to a person than the way that they look? Like, are you not looking for more? I know a lot of dudes, like I said before, usually focus on the the physical characteristics but i think that most of the time those relationships are not going to work out because if you're just looking at a woman for just her physical appearance and she doesn't have anything behind it what do you guys even talk about like what does the communication process look like like when you come home from work <laughs> are you guys just like looking at each other for 45 minutes because you guys are both ridiculously hot no probably other things need to occur right you guys are not having conversations about anything nothing meaningful like you guys don't even have conversations about, like marvel movies or anything like that that's gonna be extraordinarily boring so i would often wonder like when these dudes hit me up and they go I just want like a hot 18 year old Starbucks barista, bro. Like, I don't care. I don't care what she do, does, dude, as long as she's hot. Do you have nothing? Like, you don't want anything from this woman at all? Like, there's no, there's nothing there. Like, not, there's no, like, there's no chemistry. There's nothing just the way she looks. And that's really sad. And the same thing could be said for women. Like, do, do women want to date dudes that are really, really hot? Probably not. Like, do you want a guy that's an emotional brick that can't communicate with you, that doesn't have the ability to actually go through his emotions, that's never going to tell you his problems, that's just going to sit there on the couch perpetually and never, like, just drift off, like a thousand yard stare because he had a bad day at work, but he's not going to tell you anything about that because he thinks that he has, like, this really, really weird understanding of toxic masculinity. And he thinks that for some reason, if he doesn't say anything to you, that if you do, if he does say something to you, you're going to use it against him, which does happen sometimes. Sometimes women will use uh, men's insecurities against them. And by the way, if that ever happens to you, leave that woman. That's not a woman you want to be with. That woman is toxic, but it's not most women. But uh, yeah, so I would just struggle to, you know, even if you do find a guy like that, what does it matter, dude? Like, usually there's something underneath it. Just because somebody looks, just because somebody's a hottie on the outside doesn't mean they're a hottie on the inside. M expect more from people. Part of the fucking plot. I remember so many people refused to believe 
that Zac Efron and Nikki Blonsky were dating in real life, even though that was a rumor. Yeah, but did it actually happen? I wonder if that was true. It probably wasn't true, right? I mean, does it really matter though? Like, what is even like? You have one. You have one scenario where a very very hot guy, which is Zac Efron, everybody would agree with you that Zac Efron is hot. Man, that guy would literally kill it if he was over six foot, right? If he was even close to six foot, that guy would be like a god. Um, he did kind of mess up his face a little bit with those jaw implants and you know like the plastic surgery and things like that that he lied about. He did lie about it by the way it wasn't confirmed it was confirmed that he did lie about it. he'll still tell you to this day that it wasn't from a lie or just like tripped on a thing and busted his jaw on like a counter or something like that i don't fucking know it doesn't matter regardless very very attractive individual i don't again i don't really care if somebody is very very attractive to me it's like i for me personally i do enjoy the secondary characteristics don't get me wrong I do want you to be attractive, to me at least, and I think that everybody should strive for that. Like, when you're dating somebody, you should try to be attractive for them, and that's really important. So, like, if you're a girl and your boyfriend goes, hey, I really like it when you wear these crop tops. I really like it when you wear these shoes. I really like it when you wear these pants. It's okay to look at that and go, that's cool. I want to wear more of that now. And the same thing for women. Hey, I really like it when you put your facial hair like this. I really like it when you comb your hair like that. I really like it when you wear deodorant. I really like it when you do dishes. I really like it when you take out trash on time. You should probably do that, right? There's a plenty of things that guys can do to make their women more attracted to them, and you should do that. Fun one because it's rooted in a fat phobia, obviously, but also sexism because why, again, look at every instance in pop culture, almost every fat man, like, has a hot wife. That's just facts. Like, Yeah, but it, it's like, what's the reason behind it? Again, it's not... It's not so much about the beauty standard. It's more so like dudes just don't have the same level of beauty standard compared to women. If you ever see a really, really fugly or a bunion looking dude uh, next to a really, really hot girl, usually that girl is looking at more than just his physical appearance. Obviously, the guy probably has a lot more going for him than just the way he looks. And women have a... Women have an understanding that even though this guy doesn't look good, it doesn't matter because he has he's way more attractive um, underneath than everything on top. And... I men also do this too. Don't get me wrong. If you're dating a girl and she's like a ten, that doesn't excuse that doesn't excuse bad behavior. It doesn't excuse toxic behavior. Usually, if a guy's like really really dumb, he'll maybe put up with it. But most of the time, dudes are just gonna leave you because that's not tolerable for a lot of people, men or women. So it's just you gotta look at it from the the upfront idea of it, dude. Men's beauty standards are drastically different compared to women. Okay, there's a reason why when you watch pornography, the number one pornographies that you're gonna find are women. Like women are making pornographies. And like, what is what is OnlyFans dominated by? Women beating off, and men are consuming that content. Are women consuming pornography? Yes, but they're not consuming it to the same degree that men are. And the same thing could be said for men that look at women. Men want to look at women that are very very attractive, and women also like that stuff too. But what what did I hear? Like women really realistically like reading like Wattpads or like lit erotica or something like that. Like they like reading the backstories. That should tell you some more. That should tell you some stuff about that. Like what women are really looking for and what men are really looking for. Men just kind of want a, a really hot girl that do really bad disgusting stuff and women want more than that they want the deep underlying reasons for why this guy's amazing right the beauty and the beast story like this guy even though he's a beast right what about what's underneath him right what does he have going for him why is he the beast tell me about the character traits right that's what it is more about in every movie it exists when it's the other way around people don't believe it or they just say really nasty things and for Nikki Blonsky and Zac Efron it's a little sexist because I will agree because a lot of a lot of people in our society will sit there and say that women are just one dimensional beings that are just sex objects or, you know, <laughs> very, very attractive creatures and they don't need to bring anything else to the table, which a lot of people do work off that basis. If it ain't broken, ain't, you know, don't fix it type thing. I met lots of women in life where they're very, very pretty and they don't feel the need to enhance anything because they get by or they're enabled. Uh, by their good looks. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? If you if you're already getting everything that you need and you're pretty and you just kind of like, yeah, well, I'm pretty and dudes open the door for me. I get tons of people that hit me up and this and this and this. Like, if you don't need to work on yourself, why would you need to work on yourself? So I can kind of see it from that baseline. Um, but overall, like I said earlier, just because you're a hottie on the outside doesn't mean you're a hottie on the inside. Don't forgive that bad behavior. This is so prominent because if the rumor had been that Zac Efron and Amanda Bynes were dating during Hairspray, everyone would have believed it. But because Nikki Blonsky is fat and Zac Efron is, like, conventionally one of the most attractive men. Right. But, you know, like, okay, 
I would really, I would really love to talk to this individual because, like, I think she knows this. I think everybody knows this. When you think of really attractive men and you think of really attractive women, the gap between really attractive women to co compared to like an average woman is not that far. Like an, an average woman being five. I know a lot of people don't know that, but five is average. Okay, let's just say five is not seven. It's five. So if you're a, a woman that's five compared to a woman that's like a nine or a ten, that gap is not that big. Okay, like it, there, it's a it's a gap, right? You you could definitely tell the differences between a, an average looking woman and a very very attractive looking woman. But when you see an average looking guy compared to a ten, right, a, a, a guy that's a five on the scale compared to a guy that's ten on the scale, that difference is massive, dude. Like these guys are top echelon. Like you're looking at this guy, like oh my god, this guy is literally like chiseled from pure like granite from God himself, like his hands were, you know, formatting this man. And that just kind of goes to show you, like, there's a big difference, dude. So, like, when you look at a guy like Zac Efron compared to, like, any average dude, this guy is far and away compared to anything else. But most average women are very attractive. They're very, very, very attractive. And I think it's something to consider, dude. Like, you you, you got to at least acknowledge that to one degree or another. Like, you, a fat woman is, bro... That's, a, to me, a fat woman, and I know many people will agree with this, a fat woman is not a five. A fat woman is like a four or a three at most because you're taking all your basic beauty cues and you're literally just stacking on weight so I can no longer see that anymore. You're no longer what you were. You, I, can't, I cannot identify your facial features. I can't identify your body features. That's not attractive for most people. During that time, but he believes it. And in fact, it's like almost laughable to people i have heard people like laugh at the fact that this was even a conspiracy theory at the time honestly it's kind of just frustrating and reminds me of this like one period of time where harry styles was being accused of dating legit any woman that he ever came in contact with but then he was like actively publicly flirting with lizzo and everyone was like oh my god they're besties how cute and all the other fat people were like girl he obviously is into lizzo it's just that's but it never turned out to be that way right like we all knew that like he was probably just flirting some people are just naturally flirting people and maybe it just gets some more clout to be flirting with people like lizzo and it's like <laughs> it's like the ridiculousness of it like harry styles is flirting with lizzo which i don't even think harry styles is really that hot and i don't know why so many people thought he was so attractive like five or six years ago um, but I guess he's, like, more attractive than most dudes. I will agree with that. But he's not even that hot, to be honest, dude. But anyway, I'm, I'm not trying to be a hater. I know, but I don't know, understand why so many people, like, obsess over certain dudes. And they go, like, he's, like, this guy is so attractive. This guy's so attractive. I feel like, for me personally, I would go as far as to say that Mads Mikkelsen, if you guys know who that is, he is more attractive than Harry Styles. And I'm not even trying to say, like, I'm not trying to shit on Harry Styles. He's a very attractive man. Maybe it's just, if I was gay, I feel like I would be more attracted to the unconventionally attractive, more attractive guys, if that makes any sense. Like, I like dudes that, well, not dudes, but I like people in general that have weird features. So, like, for instance, Mads Mikkelsen, I like his face, and I like his teeth, and I like the way his his jaw shapes his the rest of his face. Like, I, I like these key defining features on somebody. Instead of just basic beauty cues, it's like, it's cool that you're conventionally attractive. It's cool that you have great eyes. It's cool that you have big boobs. It's cool that your shoulders are smaller than your hips. But what about the other stuff? Like, let me get the other beauty cues, bro. I like that personally. If I was gay, I'd probably go way further. I, I would definitely drink Mads McKelson's bath water compared to Harry Styles. It's weird that it's almost like it's unfathomable that a man would find a fat woman to be beautiful. Well, you can find fat women beautiful, but the difference would be are you dating them? Are you doing anything past the point of like finding them attractive? That would be the actual question. And that's what we're actually saying here. It's not so much about whether or not you can find a fat woman beautiful. I'm sure many people find fat women beautiful, but that's not what we're saying. We're talking about dating, right? I don't want to date them. Like, I just, I totally understand why men. Finding somebody beautiful and dating them is two different things. Many dudes will have sex with watermelons or, you know, like, banana splits uh but they will you know and they will have sex with any woman but dating them would be a completely different question because dating requires a lot of deliberate effort dating actually requires a lot of work i know that we live in this weird era nowadays where people think that dating is just like a simple thing like you don't have to change anything about your life and you know you just carry on doing whatever you're doing and also date somebody simultaneously no that's not how that works there's gonna be a lot of compromise there's gonna be a lot of hard work there's gonna be a lot of conversations that you don't want to have that they're gonna want to have and you're gonna have to somehow butt heads enough to compromise to come together and try to find a solution for both that stuff it's very difficult to have a relationship to maintain a relationship and have that relationship consist for long periods of time so uh dating is 
way different than having sex. Or dating is way different than finding somebody beautiful. Of course, that's not even close, actually. In, or, like, in the closet about liking fat women because of the... In the closet for liking fat women is crazy, dude. I know what she's trying to say, but the way she's saying it is basically, like, your illusion is liking fat women, but you're actually gay. That society has made it. Like, even think of Hairspray, which at the time... I've never seen Hairspray, so somebody's going to have to help me out with this, dude. I've never seen this movie. I, I know it's a musical, dude. What do you want from me, dude? Look, I'm not watching musicals. I used to, I, I guess I watched, uh, let's do the time warp again, right? I watched that. Uh, what was that? Rocky Horror Picture Show. I watched Little Annie, the black one and the white one, and I guess I'm like, it, they were okay, um, but it's not something I'm, tra- it's not something I'm interested in per- predominantly, so somebody can help me down, down in the comment section. What is going on? Can you can somebody relate to this? It was a movie that made me so happy because I was like, wow. Like- oh, because it has a fat girl. I remember when the movie first came out, and I guess it was like, what, 15 years ago or something like that? I, I, I guess I remember when I was like a children seeing the advertisements for the movies, and they were like, this is revolutionary. We have a fat girl that's super unattractive that's getting the guy or whatever the fuck. And you know what? It just kind of... I don't like it when Hollywood or these big corporate entities come together and they think, let's diversity hire. Let's just throw in a fat woman into a play or let's like throw in a minority group to make it seem like we're progressive or like we're doing something special. I don't really care. Um, I think it hurts the media most of the time. Like I don't necessarily care if you race swap characters or you just like throw it in. I thought The Last of Us TV show was pretty good. Um, when they race swapped Joel, for instance, like Joel in the video game was a white guy, but Joel in the uh, the TV show was an Hispanic man. I don't care. I like Pedro Pascal. It didn't affect the story at all. I thought the story was good regardless. So there's that. But I don't like it when you just randomly throw black women or just random women or whatever the fuck because you need to reach a quota or you think that you're being progressive. I think that's terrible. I don't I don't agree with it. I, <laughs> I just don't. I just don't. Like, every time it comes out, every time a movie comes out or a TV show comes out or a video game comes out and they throw in a woman for no other reason than we need woman in cash and they get hate for it and then they go you guys are just sexist (laughs) you guys are literally just sexist no the movie is shit that's why and the same thing could be said for for almost anything dude i just don't like i get it dude you want to be progressive but that's not really the way just forcing characters in roles because you need them to be there is never going to be good you're hurting the media and what what tends to happen after that is you demonize your own audience okay like i know a lot of people really like black panther i'm gonna die on this hill black panther was really not that good okay it was okay it was all right it was like a four at most if i'm being honest with you the story was ass Okay, I know a lot of people really like to suck on Chadwick Boseman because he had cancer and that was like his best role or whatever the fuck. I get it. I get it, dude. Like a lot of people like JFK because he got shot and nobody knows why he was such a good president. Literally nobody. But they'll tell you, oh, JFK is like one of the best presidents ever. And you go, why? And they go, he got shot, bro. What are you talking about? That's the same shit here. Okay, I get it. You think the movie is good. Have you ever seen that fight scene with Chadwick Boseman and that really fucking hot guy, uh, Michael B. Jordan? Dude, th- th- what? this is Marvel, and those 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 shots look like they were made from, like, the 1990s. The CGI was terrible. The story wasn't good. I don't know what to tell you, okay? The, 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 the movie wasn't good. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to die in a hell. But a lot of people were sitting there and going, this is a revolutionary movie, bro. It's about black people and this and that. No, it fucking wasn't, dude. What are you talking about? The movie was literally... Whatever, bro. A lot of people tend to idolize movies because of the idea of what the movie is or media is when the reality of it is it has nothing to do with that you just have like rose tinted glass it on this one thing it's okay like we all think some things are better than they actually are like i like a lot of really old video games that are fucking garbage but i still play them to this day because i know it's 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 nostalgia okay i'm not ignorant to this but it's also like really important to understand that just because you like something doesn't mean it's good Okay, and then also, again, I'm not, a, I'm not, it's fine if you want diversity hires in movies. Can we just please try to incorporate them in a better way than just throwing them in the movie and not writing for them? Jesus. A hot ass man can love a fat girl. Like, this is true. But, but isn't it crazy how you only have, like, one movie to reference for this? Like, isn't that crazy? Low key, why couldn't he have just loved her instead of that being, like, the entire, you know, plot line of that part of the movie because they know that that's probably unrealistic and that should be the yeah that's literally the point right almost like if a fat woman and a skinny man who is conventionally attractive are together it has to be discussed but if it's the other way around it's just accepted like actually think about it peter griffin you don't have to think about it we've already established this shit and i think that she knows why it is too she's just claiming ignorance right now 
I don't know, like, for some reason, a lot of people, they know the reasons. Like, if you think about it for more than two minutes, you will find out the reason why. Beauty standards are different. That should base that should be baseline. So when you go, I don't know why this is happening. You do know why. You're just being purposely ignorant. That's a cartoon. Homer Simpson, also a cartoon. But they have, they're fat with skinny wives. I guess, honestly, I have seen this relationship dynamic my entire life. Because my mom is really, really skinny. And my dad is a fat man. Okay. And so, like, I've just always accepted that that's normal and that's okay. Dudes tend to be bigger, right? Can we just agree on that? Most of the time, I think women are on average 30% smaller than men, which is fine, by the way. It's like 20 or 30%, like overall. And that's fine, right? We have, we have like, we have gender dynamics. That's literally fine. Um, men tend to carry a little bit more weight. So it tends to be a little bit more accepted when men carry more weight than they should be carrying because it usually is better in that situation because you have more to carry if that makes any sense um men are already just really unattractive women right in the in the baseline that's the way i like to look at it men are just ugly women and men tend to have to do more physical demanding jobs men tend to have to now maybe not nowadays like we have less physically demanding jobs but traditionally men had to do more physically demanding jobs so that maybe impeded their ability to be more physically attractive um men may maybe died at war more so like that also impeded like there's a lot of reasons you go into this shit for all the time women were always obsessed over the reason they the, the women have always been obsessed over beauty that's a fact okay for like the dawn of existence okay we know this um men not so much it's just not the same okay i get like you want to fame ignorance and go like i just don't get it it's very easy it's very easy bro the beauty standard is, is just, it's for men, it's not the same as it is for women. Men have gotten more attractive and the beauty standard has increased for men overall over the past few years, definitely. But overall, it's not even close. Like, you, you should know this. But when it's a skinny man and a fat woman, then it's like a whole big deal. And like, he's doing her a favor by liking her. This is a weird concept to grow. Because you're like, they're the two negatives, right? So if society says women should be hot and men should be ugly and then it reverses and then suddenly this guy is hot and that woman is uh, not hot, then it's, it's yeah, it's it's going to be bizarre. A lot of people are going to look at that and go like, whoa, this is like literally completely opposite. I just don't, I don't even understand this. So yeah, of course, it's going to be different. Not many people are going to look at that as like a normative thing. Grow up with as a fat girl because then every time you get attention from a man it's low-key seen as like oh he's throwing you a bone like you should be appreciative even if it's fucking weird or from someone who's like you're you don't want the attention back basically and i don't know i just think it's like strange to have to deal with that and a lot of people will also see like fat women as super desperate and they'll take anything they can get and it's just really freaking ugly considering okay so if the predominant beauty standard for women is to be attractive and if you're fat you're most definitely reducing your attractiveness on a substantial margin and when you look for a man that's going to 100 percent diminish your amount of options that you're going to have that's a fact right because you're reducing your amount of physical attractiveness and men are predominantly looking for women that are attractive so you're literally just nerfing yourself and so if you're saying like a dude hitting you up that's attractive is like throwing you a bone that is kind of true because you're literally in a bracket that's more attractive than most women and if this guy finds you attractive he probably finds you attractive for more than just this reason or maybe he's just into weird stuff i don't know like you do understand where i'm going with this right like it seems really bizarre that she doesn't seem like why are you not connecting these dots really freaking ugly considering the amount of trolls that i see beautiful women date every day fat or skinny we love to give ugly men chances and I, and I just feel like that's not fair it's not about being fair it's about what the other side is looking for okay like we have to at least acknowledge that men and women are usually assessing the dating dynamics differently right like like i said earlier women are not looking for or at least on average women are willing to accept a guy that's not as attractive if he has those secondary traits that are more attractive that she deems more attractive so you have to at least understand that it's going to be different what you're basically saying is it's not fair that women are don't like uh, it's not fair that women are willing to date uglier men even though they're looking for other things like you're basically just wrong you're just wrong like it's just such a stupid point dude like why you why would you get upset about that seriously though i see beautiful beautiful women with men who honestly look like we characters 
Every- but what else are they? Okay, do you not realize that these men that are like we characters or whatever she said, these busky watermelon looking dudes? What could you could it could it be through your head that maybe they're giving the women something that they want more than just a physical appearance? Like, could it be more attractive for this guy to do whatever he's doing compared to what his uh, physical traits are? Could that ever be something that you want to like? You 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 do. It's like okay, you ever see these people right? They project everything that they want. So I see a lot of guys. Uh, so I see a lot of women that go, I want a guy that makes six figures. I want a guy that drives this car. I want a guy that's six feet. I want a guy that has like, has went to school and all this other stuff. Obviously, this guy must want the same for me, right? This guy must want me to have all the same things that I want in a man, right? So if I'm dating a dude, he must want me to have a degree. He must want me to have a great job. He must have, want me to have a great car. He must want me to – that's just not true. Uh, a lot of dudes or whatever – um, you have to know what you're. You have to know what you're going for. Okay, just because you think that this guy wants all these things, that's not necessarily true. You're just projecting what you think you want uh, onto what that. What you think that guy wants out of you? It's not the same. A lot of a lot of dudes would just forgive a guy, a girl that has like, you know, no intrinsic value because she is attractive, which is neither good or nor bad. If a guy wants to date a woman that has no value outside of her just being pretty, that's fine. I don't personally care. I wouldn't do it because I don't think that. I would find a lot of value in a woman that doesn't know how to talk. But if he wants to do it and you're okay with that too, it's fine. I don't care. Date whoever you want to. But you have to at least acknowledge that it's up to that individual. And there, there is, according to genders, that some most women are okay with dating uglier dudes because they're gonna get they're gonna get something out of it. Whereas a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes will date really, really attractive women that don't have and that don't have a lot of other traits that are attractive to them as well. Like you, you gotta at least understand it's different. It's just different that's all it is so when you say it's not fair it's not about being fair you're literally just complaining that this is how it is like <laughs> well I, I just don't understand like why are you why are you purposely being ignorant right now you you obviously know this stuff like just think about it for more than two minutes every day and nobody questions it whatsoever this is such a stupid video bro i don't even know why we're here yet if a beautiful fat woman happens to date a conventionally attractive skinny man God forbid. And also that means that he has a fetish. She has money. It's such a weird double standard. Like you guys are- Yes, it's a double standard, but it's only a double standard because we're looking at- Yes, it is a double standard. But that's like basically saying like, why do children only want like Legos and video games? And me as an adult, I want like financial security and a great apartment. Uh, because, and then, go, and then going, this is a double standard. Yes, because you guys are different. Like, you're a woman, so you want this. I'm a dude, and I want this. Now, there is overlap. Not all women think like this, and not all men think like this. But on the averages, most women are totally fine with accepting a dude that is ugly, ugly, if he has other things going for him. And a lot of men are perfectly fine accepting women that are attractive, and they don't have anything else. You understand? That's what it's about, okay? Is it a double standard? Yes, but that's not something to complain about. That's just how it is. Just strange as fuck. I, I don't get it. Got a real plan. Right. Me explaining to my friend why I took the fluffy, dark skinned girl with a beautiful face, smile, and fatty on Chipotle and gym and gym dates for six weeks straight before cuffing her. When I signed my first day, I signed the most fucked up deal in the world. Right. I'm hmm. I feel like my name is Malcolm and I'm stuck in the middle. It's like, would I want a man to like date me and be working out with me? Free trainers, they're expensive. But True. now I'm feeling like I was targeted. That's why it's so scary dealing with gym bros, cause you're like, am I a success story? Am I a transformation client for you? But you still be doing me? I don't know. I've had this phenomena happen to me a few times, right? When you meet somebody, I don't know, like maybe women also have this happen to them, but I can only really speak from my experience. But I date only women, I'm not gay. I know a lot of people think I'm gay or they think that I'm having an infatuation with sucking on, fem uh, on male genitalia, I don't. But the women that I've dated in the past, uh, a few times. I remember one time in particular where this girl was like, I just want to get to know you. Like, I just want to know the deep side of you. Like, I just, I just want you to like, you know, open up. And I said something to her. Like, I, I opened up to her. And then I remember literally like right after I opened up to her, the words that came out of her mouth was like, wow, that's like, like, you're like damaged. And I was like, wow, that is not the words that I thought you were going to say there. And she was like, it's okay. Like, I can fix you. Like, I, I can help you. And I'm just thinking, like, this, that was not the objective of any of this. I did not go into this with the intention of, like, thinking that you could fix me or, like, there's somehow, like, something wrong with me or whatever. People have trauma and shit like that. But 
I'm not like trying to employ you as like a therapist or something like that. You asked me to open up to you, I opened up to you, and then you betrayed my openness, right? It happens sometimes, right? We're no longer together. But the point I'm making is um, sometimes when these people when these people say this this stuff, I just kind of think like. Most dudes are not, I feel like most people are not in relationships to fix the other person. Most people are just not doing that. There might be a few people that are looking at it as like a challenge or like I can get this person, like I can fix her type shit, but I just don't think that's majority of the people. And this might be the scenario, but when people say, when gym bros or when thin guys date me, are they trying to fix me? I don't think so. I don't think most of them are doing that. There might be a few people in that demographic that might be, but it's not really anything to worry about because most of the time people just don't care about you that much to work on you that hard. Like, who the fuck are you, bro? You're not, you're nobody in comparison to like anybody else in my life. I'm just dating you because I think it's, you know, like you're pretty and you smell nice and you treat me nice sometimes. I don't know, I don't know. Then on the other side, you was attracted to her. You like what you saw. It's just a little too much for you. Somebody in the comments did say, well, what if she don't want to work out? He said, well, then we can't date. Okay, well, that's fine too. Like if he's, okay, if that guy is dating a girl and he is going into it with, this girl's cool, this girl's awesome. She's funny, she's she's all this stuff, but uh, she's just fat. And this is like the one thing that's holding me back. But if she chose to lose weight, it wouldn't be an issue. And you then say, if she wasn't prepared to lose weight, I wouldn't date her. That's fine too. That's just like his preference. Like he just doesn't want to date a fat girl, but he's willing to accept the fact that you're fat and you can change that. But if you're not willing to change that, then fine. You don't have to date me then. Like, what do you, I don't understand that. What's wrong mm. with that? Stuck. But then some men only date women because they have the like typical body that most men would like. But some of them say men will leave you once you don't have that body no more. Yeah, that's exactly true because they're attracted to what they're attracted to. And naturally, if that changes, they're not going to be they're not going to be attracted to you anymore. Like I'm, I'm not attracted to promiscuous ladies. So if I dated you and then I found out that you cheated on me and you sucked off some other guy, uh, I'm not attracted to you anymore. I, what is the you don't do you not realize that there's going to be some confliction there that there's going to be some problems if you do something that betrays that and then they no longer yes that's exactly true absolutely why is that a problem what's <laughs> what uh, it's almost kind of like you did something I don't like anymore and that makes me not like you a body that most men would like but some of them say men will leave you once you don't have that body no more so I will say at least he's willing to work out with you huh what do you think? Do you want a man to meet you and say, hey, babe, let's go to the gym together. Like, I want to go to the gym with you. Or is that like a red flag? Don't it just depends on what the, 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 the meaning for that is. I would hope that the person that's asking you to do that, the guy was more upfront about it. And he was saying, like, listen, I think you're unattractive. Or at least, like, I think you could be healthier. It's probably a better way to approach that situation than actually saying you're unattractive. Holy shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, saying, like, oh, yeah, I think that. Uh, I would be more attracted to you. I think you'd be in a healthy, a healthier body or, you know, mental space if you chose to lose weight with me and I'm willing to help you out with that. Uh, as long as they're both consenting parties, I don't think it should be a big deal. It might be a red flag, but it also might not be a red flag. It just depends. She would say, hey, babe, let's go to the gym together. Like, I want to go to the gym with you. Or is that like a red flag? Don't try to change me. Pure. Yeah. I think that sometimes when people go into relationships with don't try to change me, you should probably want change, um, at least in the areas where you think that's appropriate, because sometimes people are just bad. Like, I know personally, I'm really bad with time management. I'm really like terrible with giving people that I'm with um, adequate time, and I will be the first one to admit that. I am selfish, and I am willing to give other people time that I know shouldn't <laughs> shouldn't be getting that time compared to the person that I'm dating or whoever it is. Uh, I know that's terrible and it's bad and it's probably something I should work on, but it's probably not something I'm ever going to work on because I'm like really toxic and shit like that, you know? Okay, so if you are a thick girly and you're on dating apps... I also want to use... I want to stop... Pe people got to stop using the word thick. Like, I, I'm just sick of it at this point. Like, people just say thick as like a universal term for fat. You're not thick, you're just dying. You have probably cracked the code on being able to tell immediately if a guy is into thick girls without having to try because usually you can tell how how do you tell if a guy's into thick girls if he's just, or if he's just trying to have sex with you because you're thick i don't know like that's usually what i go to if like a guy's like really really horny and he hasn't had sex in four years and you know his shit is dry as hell because he don't even use lotion anymore so when he beats his meat that shit sounds like you scraping your nails against drywall so it could just be that maybe he's just really down bad and he's just willing to accept anything and anything or maybe he actually does like thick girls, I guess. But are you willing to run that lottery ticket? Are you willing to like, I don't know. I would just love to know how you know. However, um, for the girlies who are new to this, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a guide on how you can crack the code from their responses I'm to certain questions on whether or not 
they are fat phobic. I'm interested, dude. Some chubby girl really. The key to my heart is not being a fat chick. Damn, bro. That's. <laughs> God damn, bro. That's real fucking tough, bro. Can you imagine saying like the key to your heart is not something? You didn't even actually answer the question, but Broke all right. this man's heart. He avoid. Most boys. Yeah, no not shit. No shit avoid. That's like, that's like literally telegraphing yourself, dude. This guy's literally upfront saying, I, oh, I don't date fat girls. And you go, yeah, don't hit this guy up if you're fat. No shit. Why would you hit up a guy that says legitimately right there on his first thing on his on his <laughs> on his dating app is literally I don't watch I don't date fat girls. Of course. Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't know what like okay. All right, dude. Paul really broke this man's heart. He avoid. I don't know if it's anything like I I don't know why so many people do that shit where they go I don't know, like, who hurts you? I don't know, like, what girl, what fat girl hurt you? It might just be this guy is not attracted to fat girls, you know that? Like, it's not somebody hurt him or like that. I, I've heard that many times before. Like, I remember, I remember I, I was dating, I was talking to this blonde girl, and I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know, I just don't really like your, you know, like, I, I don't think this is gonna work or whatever. She's like, what blonde girl hurt you? And I was like, uh, I've only dated black girls, so, like, literally none of them, I guess. I don't, like, what are you trying to infer right now? You're saying, like, I have a... I have a, 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 set, a specialty against blonde girls. Like, what are you talking about? It has nothing to do with anything. Sometimes people just say shit. And it's like, what, do you even know what you're talking about? And I've come to the realization that a lot of times people just want to argue. And that's fine, I guess, dude. I'm not interested in though. Most boys. Well, I am interested in arguing. But it's not with the person I'm dating. For arguing sake. Arguing sake for instance. Will not be that upfront about it. Because nobody wants to be fat phobic. It's just preference. Um, if you're a granola girl, these two are mutually exclusive. You cannot. Well, how many, how many fucking... How many profiles did you have to scroll through to find this exact quote? This is crazy, dude. B. What is a granola girl? What is that? What the hell is that? Like a girl that just substitutes food for granola bars? <laughs> a chubby bitch and be a granola girl. I don't believe that. So he likes the skinny bitches. Cool. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows at this point that- I get myself out of the funk by when i hear somebody say the funk i think they stink like that's when i when somebody says i got the funk i'm thinking like damn bro you got that fucking mm. going for a hike that's longer than what i prepared to do okay uh, anyone who's super enthusiastic about hikes is a little bit of a red flag they want you to be active that's code for don't be fat i think most people why do people even have this much stuff on their dating profile, bro? How long did it take you to put this dating profile together, dude? Like, it, it, whenever I put dating profiles together, it maybe took me 10 minutes, like, at most. I put, it, the hardest thing about it would just be the profile pictures and determining which ones were good and which ones were bad. The profile itself should be ambiguous. I don't know why people get so in-depth writing, like, whole synopsis about themselves. Like, they're copy and pasting Wikipedia pages about themselves into the shit. Come on a hike with me. Same with CrossFit. And of course I love- You just like anybody that's like anything physical? Like, is that what it is? Like, you just don't like anybody that likes to do anything like act active, active or like, is that what it is? Anything aerobic at all is just like a, f a straight red flag to you? I recently discovered that everyone on this app is a hiking enthusiast. Of this okay. one because he's like making fun of that. So he's down for a thick chicken can handle it. That's not, okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't really- just because this guy's pointing something out, ironically, doesn't mean that it's... Why would you say that he's down? Like, can you imagine, like, she finds this one guy, and then you look at his profile picture, and he's like, Yeah, fuck fat bitches, dude, I don't like them. That's what I would imagine this. Himself. I don't know if this is just me, but I do not think that sailing and big girls mix together. They're pretty buoyant, right? You can, you, if you get into the water, you know you're gonna float. Fat is pretty buoyant. Why not? What are you talking about? What are you even doing on the boat? It's not like you're doing shit. That just sounds like a recipe for disaster. You're gonna tip over the boat and make friends with the whale. Man, you gotta be fat as hell if you go and tip it over the boat. That's crazy as fuck. See, I can't tell if this is a joke or not, but if you think- I can curl 45 pounds. Uh, so what? <laughs> oh man, I don't know why dudes. What does that even do, bro? Like you can curl 45 pounds. What do your wrists look like? Jesus Christ, 45s? What do you, can, can you curl them like one time and you're like fucking throwing your arms back and forth, bro? Like, what do you mean you can curl it? Think that 45 pounds is heavier, that's all you can lift? What do you mean that's all you can lift? Do you not know how much 45 pounds is on a curl? Okay, all right. It's not the same as like benching. <laughs> what? What is she talking about, bro? Does she not know how much 45 pounds is on a fucking curl? That's a lot, dude. 45 pounds is a lot on a curl, bro. If you can actually do it. If you can actually do 45 pounds, like... Like, strict curl? That's a lot, bro. But if it, it... Okay, this girl doesn't know what she's talking about. Whatever, dude. She's ignorant. It's all right. But you probably shouldn't... Probably shouldn't be making videos about it if you don't know. 
See, I can't tell if this is a joke or not, but if you think that 45 pounds is heavier, that's all you can lift, you are not qualified to ride this ride. That's crazy as fuck, bro. This woman is dumb as hell. <laughs> bro, 45 pounds curl is actually a lot of weight, bro. He's not talking about like deadlifting, bro. He's not saying like, oh yeah, I can deadlift 45 pounds. If he said I could deadlift 45 pounds and I'd be like, oh yeah, bro, it's fucking, what the fuck? That's like nothing. But 45 pounds on a curl is crazy. Do you not know what a curl is? <laughs> This woman just made herself look like an idiot, bro. <laughs> what? Dude, 45 pounds on a curl is actually a lot, bro. And she just sat there and goes like, bro, that's weak as hell. How much can you curl, bro? What are you curling, like hundreds? <laughs> Ronnie Coleman over here, dude. For disaster, you're going to tip <laughs> over the boat and make friends with a whale. Oh, See, I man. can't tell if this is a joke or not, but if you think that 45 pounds is heavier, that's all you can lift, you are not qualified he's to- He's not lifting, he's curling. Ride it. this ride. Yeah, she didn't Google curling. See, this isn't inherently like- you have to be skinny and fit to do these things. However, he is making it a, a point to not talk about his other hobbies and let you know this is a big part of his life. So you Bro, you're not really talking about your hobbies on a fucking dating app. Am I wrong? What you, how much are you supposed to list on this dating app, bro? I thought the entire point of a dating app was just to, just to get you in the door so you can have a communication with the person. And then when you're on dates, you slowly but surely start to unravel that person. Why do I need to tell you about my hobbies on a dating app, dude? Who the fuck are you, bro? Like, just keep it ambiguous, bro. This girl obviously has no idea what she's talking about, dude. Jesus. You better be down for that. Um, which you could be, I guess. But beware. <laughs> See, same with sailing. I just don't think hammocks and big girls mix. I really do not. I would, right. I yeah. would fall through that. Chilling on a hammock in the, in the balcony, drinking wine with cheese. Drinking wine with cheese. Drinking wine and eating cheese, probably, right? Uh, crocheted bullshit. Drinking cheese just kind of makes me think you've got like that, uh... You know what I'm talking about? That cheese whiz shit and you just Someone get this girl a couch. See, it's only the scrawny guy. Like you're not a big guy. The big guys don't say this shit. Your your oversized hoodie is probably a size large. No, ain't nobody gonna fit into that. He like Damn, you're fat as shit if you can't fit into a large on a dude, bro. It is what it is, man. Skinny girls. And finally, I think any guy who answers in emoji or shit like this, like I, He's I, a black guy, 100%. That's a black guy. How much one bet? You know that doesn't make Show you fat phobic? I, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, dude. Hold up, hold up. Ever? You're much. You're too much of a douche for any girl. No, that's a black guy, bro. That's all. That's but, a black guy thing. Hold up, hold up. I swear I saw a black hand. Hold up. I'm not trying to be racist, but that, I knew that was a black guy. shit like this. Hold up, wait a second. Like, wait a second. Like, I, wait. I know that doesn't make you fat phobic. Wait, but I but saw the hand, bro. The hand was black, dude. Trust me. Trust me, the hand was black. Ain't nobody gonna fit into that. He likes skinny girls. And finally- We gotta slow it down. Hold up. We gotta slow this shit down, dude. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta slow this shit down. I think, like- Hold up, hold up. Watch this shit. I, I'm right about this, dude. This is a straight black guy. doesn't make you fat. Black hand. Black hand right there, dude. Uh, black hand. Called it, bro. That's a black guy. I knew it, bro. I knew. You know how many times I've talked to black dudes and you go, yo, bro, what you think? What, what's what's the meaning of life? Dude, fuck bitches. Get money, dog. I see that shit consistently, bro. It is what it is, bro. I mean, I'm always right. When you're right, you're right. Am I wrong? I'm right. I know I'm right. Anyway, we can go back to what this girl's talking about. <laughs> right. However, you're much, you're too much of a douche for any girl. That's all. Go you just, you just don't like black guys, man. Come on. Get, get, get with the times. Why, why are you showing off your racism? Welcome back to Plus Size Dating with Rachel. I just got the ick from a man, and I need to know if it's justified or if I'm overreacting. I think a lot of times you're going to get an ick from somebody if they do something. Like, it's most of the time. If you guys don't know what an ick is, it's exactly what you think it is. Like, somebody says something, and you're like, ooh, mm, ooh I don't like that. That's basically what that is. People say things all the time that are going to be icks, bro. It is what it is. I hope it's not that big of a deal to be, like, dismissing an entire guy over it. I was looking bald, so I took my hair out. Um, this man and I have matched multiple times. Um, we matched when I was getting back into dating back in April. I thought I was ready to start dating, and I just, like, wasn't. We made a plan, and I canceled on him. Damn. That's on me. I just, like, wasn't ready. Um, and then we recently matched again, and we've been talking... And I went to the Cape for a little bit uh, for work and... I don't care. Come on. Get to the fucking... We're getting back and like we're talking about getting together. And I was kind of being sassy in our text messages because I'm a sassy person. And let me just show you the conversation about where I got this. Okay, so her saying I'm just a sassy person is dismissing bad behavior. And by the way, she... Not preference this. Sorry. 
prefaced, prefaced, stop, okay, I don't know how to pronounce it, I've been saying it for wrong for so long, but she put in right at the beginning, I'm just sassy, and the implication of that is, I am just like this no matter what, therefore if I say this to you, you should know that it's not strictly towards you, so you should just look at it as like a, a regular character trait for me, but that's not the case, you should not have to be held emotionally hostage because somebody did something that you didn't know about. So like if you sit there and go, why are you getting upset with me, this is just the way I am, I don't care, this is just the way you are, it's bad. What are you talking about? Why should I have to why should I have to be emotionally stable for your unemotional stableness? That's terrible. No, I hate when people do that shit. Don't tolerate that. If there's somebody goes like, I just have a mental illness, you just you're just like, why are you not accepting this? Because I don't have to. I I don't have to. You're that's not how that works. Because I'm a sassy person. And let me just show you I'm automatically like anything that she says past this point, super grain salt. Conversation about where I got the ick. I'm gonna bring you down from your crown. Okay, so he goes. I gotta bring you down from your crown. I'm like, why? It fits nicely on my head. Um, I'll knock it off, no problem. And then I'm like, why would you want to? I'm six one, so taller. It'll be rather easy, True. honey. I'm five ten. It's not that big of a difference. Three inches, bro. All right. Anytime I. Okay, you don't think three inches is a big difference? I know to men, two. Not for me though. Inches seem like a lot. It's not. Uh, it is when you're fucking eight inches, bro, or nine or ten inches. Anyway, um, I, and I flat out was like, that doesn't answer my question. You, I, I, sh I should have said, you should want to treat me well like a princess. She want to treat me well like a princess? <sighs> yeah, that's cringe as fuck. Treat you like a mutt. That's cringy. I think that's fair. No, that's cringe as hell, dude. Nobody should be treated like a princess. That's cringe. Treating your partner well. Treating, like... yeah, you're not like a princess, dude. You're basically like saying that you're royalty. You're not royalty, dude. I know you fart. Is expected and not a bad thing? No, it's not good either. Like, what you're basically saying is like, just forgive my bad behavior. I'm a fucking god. I'm a deity. Pray to me. And then he says... Find a sugar daddy for that. I mean, if you don't treat me right, I will find somebody else. I'm immediately just leaving you after that, dude. That's, whew. Like, I'm okay. Uh, so I'm super flirty, flirty per person regularly, dude. This girl is a bag of red flags, dude. Up until I would say, hmm, why would you want to? After that six, he's also really cringe for saying, but just bringing up his six foot tallness. He's basically just saying, like, just to let you know I'm tall. <laughs> I am tall, just to let you know. I know it's not relevant to the situation at all, but hey, you know that? I'm like really tall and I make a lot of money too. Here's actually a picture of my bank account, just so you can see. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about how it doesn't crop on correctly. I did find this off Google Images and I did crop in the number a little bit. But anyway, yeah, it's, everything here is cringy, but she's really cringy and she's trying to excuse her bad behavior, dude. This cringy. Find a sugar daddy for that. Yeah. Yeah, she's upset. She can't find one of those. <laughs> I shouldn't need to be paid to be Oh man, she's taking it too literal, dude. Oh. <laughs> that's not where I thought she was going to go with that. I shouldn't have to be paid. I don't think that's what he was saying, dude. You took it too serious. I shouldn't need to be paid to be treated well. I shouldn't need to find an older man to treat me well. Oh. She missed the point entirely. She missed the point entirely, bro, and she took it too literal. <laughs> What's up with people nowadays, bro? I get it. It's a text message, and so it's like the intention or the context in which somebody says something, it's very ambiguous because it's just text. Like You can misinterpret the way somebody texts, but she almost looks like she purposely found it. Like she purposely took it ignorantly. Or a man who gets something from me to be treated well. You're fucking and then stupid, bro. It's literally not even... It's not even what he said there. I'm not gonna kiss your toes and become a simp. I know how to treat, but I know how to treat a lady. Sure, I mean, you know, he's less cringy than her, both not so good in terms of dialogue choices, but he's much better. She just took it the wrong way and she went too far and now she's bragging about it on TikTok as if she did anything other than just make herself look even more cringe and socially, uh, socially unqualified to understand like dating, how to, how to talk to somebody. I was blatantly honest. It's like, I mean, if you don't treat me right, I will find somebody else. I hate when people say that. I hate when people go like, dude, I, like, I'm not wrong, right? Like, I didn't say anything wrong. No, you didn't say anything wrong, but you chose the wrong dialogue options. Like, you don't, sometimes people say things that just don't need to be said, but they say it and they dismiss it with, but it, was I wrong? It's not about you being wrong. You're just saying something that's a completely, like, why, what's the point of you saying that? You know what I'm talking about? That's like, 
that's like you being in a relationship with a girl and then you go, hey, um, I don't like your attitude. Like, I don't like, you know, you, you've been treating me like shit recently. And then that person goes, you do know that I can find any guy right now and they're all prepared to date me. And you're just like, what the fuck? What, what do you, why would you say that? And you go like, is, am I wrong? It's not about you being wrong. It's about you saying something that's really fucked up. That's not relevant at all. That's the point. So when you say, when somebody says like, did I, was I wrong? It's not about that. It's not about you being wrong. You said something that was not supposed to be said. Okay. Why the fuck would you feel the need to say that? You're just a fucked up individual. And then it goes, I'm not going to kiss your toes and become some, a simp. He's not black, obviously. That, you know, if somebody says, I'm not going to kiss your toes, white guy. But I know how to treat a lady. Yeah. And I'm like, ew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, I'm not bad. It's just like the way she said that was hilarious, bro. You're like, ew, because he said what? The last thing he said was, I know how to treat a lady. And you go, ew. I know the context, dude. But simultaneously, uh, dude, can we look at the entire thing? Like, he's basically saying, like, I'm not going to cater to you like you're a, a princess or like a god. But I'll treat you well. That's what he's basically saying. And then you respond with, ew. <laughs> treat me like a fucking princess. Even though I'm like 450. Dude, treat me like a fucking princess, okay? I have to brush my hair, by the way. Ew! Yeah, true. What is Ew. wrong with treating your partner well? There's a difference between okay. There's a difference between treating your partner well and then treating them like a princess. You understand there's a difference, right? Like most people know that difference. Most people know what it means to treat a girl like a princess, and they, what they know like to treat a girl like your partner. You understand that? He's just basically saying like, I don't want to idolize you. Like I don't want to put you on a pedestal. Like you're just a human being like me and. We can make it work. You know, I'm not trying to be like your simp or whatever. That's what he's saying. You're, you're purposely. What is the purpose here? Like, what are you trying to do right now? You're making yourself look worse. You're literally, I get that you think that this is like a dub for you or you think this is like, you know, oh, I totally just like fucking dissed. You didn't. You made yourself look worse. You actually look worse now. You look worse. Like, I, I need to know if I'm overreacting. You are. And you have, and you know that you're overreacting too. But, like, I'm reading this conversation. I'm just like, ew. Like, we're done. True. Like, I, I know everything I know about you. I need to know about you. Oh. We're done. So what's the point of asking us if you're overreacting? If you're all ultimately going to go, I know this guy's an asshole. He's obviously gross. He's fucking disgusting. What's the purpose? You don't care about what we think. <laughs> you're already made your decision. So why does it matter? You don't give a fuck. You're wrong, by the way. You're totally wrong. You're totally, totally, totally wrong. You read that shit totally... <sighs> so fucking wrong. Um... And like the conversation before was we were talking we were talking about the Jersey Shore. Show us. Show us the conversation before. And he was like, Oh, I go every week. And I was like, ugh, oh, amazing. He goes, Don't ugh me. And I go, I'll ugh you if I want. It seems like playful banter, and then you took it too far. Like, oh man, did I fucking hate it when people do this shit on purpose, dude? Because you can never you can never judge. Sometimes people will like flirt with you back and forth, and then you're just continuing that and they'll go, What the fuck why would you say that and you're like oh i thought that you were like a cool person i thought that you had communication like you should have known that that was a joke right like how can you see all this other stuff prior and deem that as a joke and know that i'm joking about that and it's all like sarcasm or like we're just playfully flirting with each other but this one thing that i said you now want to hook on to that and say like i'm a bad person for that like you're literally stupid i don't want to talk to you anymore literally i would be so upset with somebody for that and then it goes, God, and then that's where this conversation starts. What? No, you can't just say you were talking about the Jersey Shore and then just randomly be like, yeah, bring down your crown. What What does that have to do with anything? I don't even understand. Like, please show the rest of the context. There's, there's probably a reason why you're only showing this screenshot, right? So, let me know if I'm... You're wrong. I'm overreacting. Like, because I trust my community, but... Uh, yeah, you should... I don't know if you should trust your community, but you should definitely trust me. You are wrong. Um. Mm. <sighs> What's up with these people? Everybody faming ignorance, not knowing. This should be, like, the thumbnail or something like that, dude, right? I don't... Is this going to be the thumbnail? Let me know. If you see this in the thumbnail, maybe not. But she's wrong. She has no idea. Like, she just... I mean, she does. Like, one, one thing I've realized as I've gotten older is that people will sit there and they go... I just, I just don't get it. I, I don't understand. Like, why is this happening? You know why this is happening, dude. You literally know. You can articulate the reasons. Like, two or three sentences before that, you've literally explained. Could it just be this? Could it just be that? Yes, that's exactly the reason. That is why. 
You know why. Why are you acting like you don't know why? You do know why. Whatever. You're beautiful, by the way. You're so great. You're so amazing. You're so outrageously amazing. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. It helps me grow on the algorithm. If you uh, watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in car, C-A-R, or if you have a car emoji, go ahead, type that in there because we need some cars in our in our wildlife preserve that we're building in the comment section. We have the trees, we have the lions, we have the goats, we got the everything, but we need cars so we can have people gazing upon all the beautiful wildlife, the beautiful mother nature herself. Um, and speaking of beautiful, you are quite beautiful, quite majestic, quite amazing. Uh, I'm not afraid to admit it that I think you're an amazing person. I think you're a responsible individual and I love that about you. I really do. Thank you for drinking water, by the way. That was great. This is a long video and you stayed hydrated through it. That's awesome. Congratulations on being hydrated. You're an amazing person. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my socials, they'll all be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.